Alright, so here's the other video I promised uh, regarding Witcher 3 and how I feel about it. And it's not really a review, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm not really a kind of reviews, but The Witcher 3 uh, is just one of the best RPGs I have played. It, it just like, and I'm, uh, people are probably gonna bite my head off. But I mean, I like this game more than Skyrim. I like this game more than uh, Fallout New Vegas, at least. Fallout 3, I'm still deciding. Uh, but this game, I mean, okay, people who know me know top two favorite RPGs of all time, uh, like the Kingdom Hearts series and Final Fantasy XII and how much they mean to me. So when I say that The Witcher 3 is like right up there, right behind them, that that means a lot coming from me. Uh, th honestly, the only bad things about this game are some technical issues. Because, I mean, this game's what? I think it was like 30% bigger than Skyrim. Uh, this game is going to have some technical, uh, you know, glitches. Uh, especially like, you know, with uh, quests, with characters, um, dialogue, even some missions might be bugged, but that's like the only negative thing I can think of. I mean, this game, the atmosphere, the, the graphics, the beauty, the lore, the music, the dialogue, the pacing, like literally I can go on and on just spewing greatness about this game. And it, like, it seriously is one of the greatest RPGs of this generation probably all time. And CD Projekt Red is just an amazing developer for no, and I haven't really played the past two games, but from what I've heard, they've made significant improvements based on fan feedback, which is always good when a developer takes criticism as a means to change and do better, rather than be feel insulted and, um, you know, just take it the wrong way. And where's this damn tavern? I'm looking for taverns. I want to play Gwent. I'm so desperate for Gwent. Do you play Gwent? Yeah, he's playing Gwen. Woo! Mind if That's another thing. Cards. Gwent is an amazing mini game. I am obsessed with Gwent. I I I got the, like the Gwent Master Trophy, which involves beating and winning that uh, Gwent tournament in Novigrad or yeah, Novigrad. Yeah, it was in Novigrad. And um, I mean, look at this. Look at this deck. I got Girl Siri. So many tens and special cards, ugh. And I got all the decks too. It's awesome, I got them all able to use. And for some reason, Nifgardian Empire is my strongest deck, yet I don't feel that at all. I feel like it's maybe third, even fourth best deck, but regardless. Um, oh my god, Clint. I wish, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping Maybe CG Pro CD Project Red can kind of make it so this Gwent game is competitive against other people, you know, PvP in some way, because that would be amazing fun. Like I, I would not be able to probably contain myself. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I'll just play some Gwent here, and then I'll end the video. But yeah, Witcher Three is just amazing. And I think I'm a pretty damn good Gwent player, like how I, uh, how I can utilize the whole battlefield and waste turns to for strategic advantage and all that. Yeah, I got one of those too, buddy. I think I have like four of them, technically. <laughs> um, put you down. Take your spy card and use it as my own. Um, hum, 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 and what I usually do in the first round is I just put down some of my cards that I don't consider strongest and see if they can beat him in round one. And then round two, I'll just kind of like feign not trying, like I don't have any cards. And then he'll put down all his cards because he has to win the second round if I won the first. And then the third round, I, you know, all my strong cards are saved and I just annihilate them. 
Ah, all right. Give me more cards, please. Oh, I got another. Two more ranged, huh? Four. Oh, I need a five at least. So, place you and I win. Round one. Done. Also, my, my favorite deck probably is Northern Realms, just because, and not because I started with it, but because I have the most spy cards and the most, like, revival cards, meaning I get more cards to pick up and I can take people from the graveyard back onto the field. Uh, the rest are good in their own right, and they have their own strategy to them, like monsters, where it's just attack, offense, get all the warriors in there, double up their strength. But it just it doesn't feel as strategic for me regarding the whole Gwent game in itself. Mm. So like for here, I want to I have two more cards than him, but I want to size him up. I want to see what he'll play, and I can give this round up if I want, so I can afford to lose one. So what I normally do here is if I'm unsure what he has in his hand and if he can potentially beat me, uh, you know, with you know this round. Even if I put down all my cards, which has happened before when I was starting how to learn how to play, I would just do something like this. Like, uh, I'll do my special ability for the fog. It doesn't do anything, but it wastes my turn, so it forces him to play more cards, and I can get a feel for him. Mm, let's see. There's really no strategic value, except a little, because it doubled, but that was mostly just to waste my turn for him to play cards. Sure. Normally I wouldn't have done that because he may have sunny weather or something and it wasn't really a big deal. Yeah, clear weather. And it wasn't really a big deal. He only had a combined total of 10. Alright. So regardless of what he puts down, this will be my last move. That's it. And then I'll save the rest for round 3. So he needs to get an, uh, 11 with two cards, which actually I may win right here straight. Yeah, I win. Yeah. All right, there it is, guys. Witcher 3 is an amazing game. I love Gwent. I am. Uh, why are you telling me that? I know how Gwent works. Oh, that's gross. All right, anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching. This game's amazing. I'm already done it. I'm still going to play it like hell. It's just so much fun.